Did you know that up to 70% of adolescent males are engaging in masturbation? Another 60% of males above 60 engage in masturbation. Well, you thought it was only the small boys who were doing it, right? Nah, the grandfathers are also doing it as well. <laughs> in my previous video, we spoke about the positive sides of masturbation. In this video, we're going to talk about the negatives of masturbation. If you haven't already subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to my channel because over here we learn, we learn a lot about our health and our well-being and how we can put everything together and live the best lives that we can possibly have. So stick and stay, it's going to be a fun time here. So, what are some of the negatives of masturbation? In fact, in this video, I'm going to talk about four reasons why you should not be engaging in masturbation at all if you have not started. So, don't do it. It's not good for you. And here's why. <laughs> number one, number one, masturbation is addictive. It can get really, really addictive because every time you engage in masturbation, you have an orgasm. You know, it's a low-hanging fruit. You don't have to invest much time toasting somebody else or getting getting to know somebody else. You can just use your own hands or your tools and bring yourself to a climax. So it's a very, very easy thing to fall, to become addicted to. And a lot of people actually become addicted to it. And when that happens, it can begin to disrupt your daily activities. You know, your productive time is actually lost to masturbation. You know, you have to run away from work, go and hide in a bathroom and get it off. You know, you have to skip um, social visits, social events just to get it off. You know, you're always hiding in the corner, hiding in the bathroom, doing it uh, all over the place. It can get really, really disruptive. And I have actually done people who have had this situation and it's a really really frustrating place to be so if you don't want to get into that vicious cycle you want to avoid getting started in the first place so don't do it because it can become addictive and it can ruin your life the second reason why you probably should not be indulging in masturbation is that there is the risk of injury to your genital organs especially if you're a bit too aggressive with your hands or with the toys that you're playing with you can not end up with cuts and bruises and tears in your hymen especially for the girls it can actually cause vaginal tears as well if you're a bit too aggressive you know and you could end up with infections various infections not an std but you could get an infection from other things as well because some people are playing with unclean devices unclean toys some people are playing with fruits which may have their own bacteria their own germs on it it could cause you problems so don't do it at all men who engage in excessive masturbation can end up with premature ejaculation as a result of it See, because masturbation is such a low-hanging fruit and you can do it at will and most people actually hide to do it you tend to be in a hurry and so you condition your mind that once the, your genitals are stimulated you have to quickly move from point a to orgasm as fast as possible so that becomes your normal so when you actually engage with a woman you you are unable to last long because your mind has been conditioned to condition to finish quickly and so premature ejaculation is real as a result of masturbation so if you cannot control it don't even bother starting in the first place number four and i dare say this is actually one of the most important reasons why you probably should not be indulging in masturbation is the guilt afterwards because of the religious background where a lot of us are coming from and the fact that masturbation is frowned on and seen as a sin many people who engage in masturbation end up feeling very guilty and feel very dirty afterwards and this can affect their mood even though technically masturbation or orgasm should be able to help improve your mood it does not do so for a lot of people they end up with guilt and could actually become depressed or anxious as a result of masturbation and so if you cannot handle it or if your background is a bit too conservative you might want to avoid this um, masturbation so that you don't end up with guilt which could lead to other things so those are the four reasons why you probably should not get started with masturbation at all if you cannot handle it because it could become your story once again i'm dr kelvin and i'm happy that you stayed leave your comments in the comment section and i will definitely respond however fabulous time remember to subscribe though.